Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. It's November round two. Um, Pisces, you're up. Okay. What? I'm going by the elements. Just roll with it. Reading before Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November round two. If it doesn't resonate with your sun sign, check your moon rising, your Venus placements. The two swords reversed came down. Somebody having a hard time making a decision? Someone making a decision without the clarity that's necessary to make a decision? I don't know. I'm just throwing down cards. Okay. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher, even though this really isn't a cross watcher's read. I mean, it, it, I don't see how it can be. This is going to go over Pisces strengths and weaknesses in a situation, what's coming in, what's leaving, what they got to do to get the desired outcome, things of that nature. But if a cross watcher can take something out of it, that's okay. Either way, time and energy are both fluid. So place yourself wherever you see fit in the situation. And keep in mind, there is no gender in the tarot. If I'm throwing down pronouns, I'm just throwing down what I'm seeing in the card. Okay? Mm. Insert whatever pronoun fits best for you. That being said, if you're new here, I think we might vibe, get along, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. If you're returning, welcome back. Glad to see you again. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. And it all helps the videos be circulated to those who may need the messages. So, two things before I invoke and throw down. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose card they are, mine or somebody else's. And if it's not your story, not your reading, not your message, if it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, it's not making sense in your life, just leave the cards on the table and walk away. It wasn't meant for you. Okay. Pisces, we're gonna invoke the cards and throw them down. This... <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November Round 2. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask you to help me use it to bring Pisces to their highest possible spiritual good and put them in their highest possible spiritual path. What's going on? Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. That's awesome. Huh. What's your strength? What's your weakness? Oh. What do you want? Okay. What's got to go? What's coming in? Nice! What do you got to do? Okay. What's the final outcome? That's awesome. Six of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. I don't know what's up with that. This was going so well. Huh. We'll see how it ties in. Okay. I need clarity for Pisces, please. Clarity for Pisces. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is good in her own right. She doesn't necessarily need anybody else's pentacles. She's good on her own. She's the one everybody chases after. Huh. Okay. Tell me about the Two of Wands reversed for Pisces strength. Tell me about the Two of Wands reversed. Why is a nine of swords here? How the hell is this a strength? Being at a crossroads, making emotional decisions, having a heart.
One more. Four ones. There's always a blessing, isn't there? There's always a blessing. You think things through. Sometimes the point of staying up all night, but you think things through. You know when to stand back and observe. You know when something isn't going to lead to victory. You make decisions with heart. always see the blessing. I think there's this weird way things always even out for you. Alright, talk to me about this Knight of Swords for weaknesses. Why the Knight of Swords for Pisces weakness? Why the Knight of Swords reversed? Queen of Wands, huh? Knight of Wands. <laughs> okay. You know what you want, you go after it. Even if it doesn't hang out long. You know when someone's beneath you? How is that a weakness? How is that a weakness? I get it. It leads to heartbreak. That's definitely a weakness. Sometimes some of you chase after things that are so far beneath you. Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. You should be chasing kings, not knights, baby. It doesn't end well. But the sun always shines again. You always find the blessing in it. Huh. Okay, well... Sometimes your strengths and your weaknesses coincide and they braid themselves together. Why is the Six of Cups here for what Pisces wants? Why the Six of Cups? You miss someone. Oh my goodness, you miss someone. One more. Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles reversed. You're hanging on to something so tight. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Dare I beat the dead horse? Okay. One more. Moon reversed, but you received clarity in a situation. There may have been secrets, lies, a deception. Stabbed in the back. You miss it. You haven't let go of it. You want the good times back. 
All right, what's got to go? Why the Five of Swords reversed for what's got to go for Pisces? Why the Five of Swords reversed? 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 Five of Wands. There was conflict. There was fighting. There was arguing. I feel like you lost the argument. Magician. Knight of Swords. You gotta stop. Tr Knight of Swords reversed. Knight of Swords upright. Justice. You gotta let this go. You have to let this go. You, you, in order to manifest new things, you have to let this go. Maybe a conversation needs to be had, but it just always ends up an argument. But something's gotta go for, for scales to balance, for new things to manifest. You have to let something go. I don't think you have. You fought, try so hard to see the good side of this and you want it so bad you can't see the forest of the trees. Something has to be cut out for scales to balance. Something has to be let go of. Alright. Why is the Seven of Wands here for what's coming in? Why the Seven of Wands? The Seven of Wands speaks to taking control back. Three of Wands reversed. Ten of Wands, the release of the burden. They're not waiting anymore. The taking control back, the walking away of the dock, the release of the burden. Eight of Cups, the walking away. You're going to walk away from it. You're finally going to walk away from it. In order to, for the scales to balance in your life, you need to walk away from this. The Wheel of Fortune, it's a 10. It speaks of endings. It controls all the other 10s in the deck. I got two 10s here. What you have to do is allow it to end. An old cycle needs to end for a new cycle to begin. Ace of Cups. Holy shit. Your outcome's nine cups. Your outcome is inner peace and fulfillment. You have to let something go. Your weakness is, go back up to your weakness for a second. It often ends in pain, but the sun always shines again. Energies can be reversed. I've never had these be reversed before, but your strength is your weakness. Always wanting to see the good in people. Always pouring so much emotion into it. Tell me about this nine cups. Tell me about this nine cups. Strength reversed, eight of swords reversed. Sometimes it takes more strength to let something go than it does to hang on to it. The allowance of something not 
<clears throat> the Page of Pentacles, the lesson learned. The fulfillment within oneself. The letting go. One more. Page of Wands reversed. Allowing not, okay. And the communication. Not going down that path. Just avoiding the path. You know what path you need to avoid. I think you're going to stop going down one path and you're going to start going down another. Page of Cups. Holy cow. Holy cow. You're your cup holder, Pisces. You hold your cup, you hold your pentacle, you have life experience. I got all, all four pages up here. Both masculine pages are in the reverse. Both feminine pages are in the upright. Masculine energy, and I'm not, I'm not throwing shade. It's bullheaded fucking energy, especially when it's in the reverse. The feminine energy, it's more emotion and it's more grounded. And I think this is what the goal is. Emotionally grounded energy. I like it. I do. But you gotta let something go. You have to stop being so damn bullheaded and, st and just let something go. You need to end an old pattern. Huh. Okay. Let's get an oracle for you. Let's get an oracle for you. Some of you may be a person you need to let go of. Some of you may be an old pattern. An old way of doing things. Okay. Uh, happy, happy. Number 26. Two plus six is eight. Eight is a cup of forward... Uh, eight is a cup. Eight is a card of forward movement. <laughs> Number 26. Number 26. It is also the number of infinity. 26. Joy and contentment. A sense of fulfillment. A feeling that all is well. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment. Whatever is happening. And be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment. For you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being at one with spirits planned for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. You're good. And you're going to be good. You know what you got to do. Break your shackles, baby. Break your shackles. All right. Pisces! This has been your November round two. Have one hell of a November. I will catch you guys in your next reading. Love and light. Know that you are loved and be blessed.